Ever wondered what separates the best programmers from the others? Stick around to unlock the ultimate programming secrets that will put you ahead of others. Hi, I am Gaurav and welcome to my channel Code with GD. I have over 9 years of coding experience both as a student and as an engineer. I am here to share tips and tricks that give you a serious edge in your programming career. Let's get started. First, let's talk about efficient learning strategies. Trying to learn everything at once can be overwhelming and counterproductive. To make steady progress, it is crucial to break down your learning into manageable chunks and dedicate time to mastering each concept individually. For example, if you are learning JavaScript, start by spending a week focusing solely on understanding the basics of data structures, such as arrays and objects. Deep dive into how these structures work, how to manipulate them, and how they are used in various coding scenarios. Next, move on to mastering functions. Learn how to define functions, how to pass arguments, how to handle return values, and explore different types of functions like arrow functions and higher order functions. After that, dedicate time to understanding classes and objects. Get comfortable with the principles of object-oriented programming. Learn how to create classes, how to instantiate objects, and how to use inheritance and polymorphism in JavaScript. Only after you have a solid grasp of these fundamental concepts, you should consider moving on to more advanced topics like implementing APIs and services. By focusing on one concept at a time, you will build a strong foundation, making it easier to understand and implement more complex features as you progress. Tip number two, use active learning techniques. Instead of just reading about algorithms and watching tutorials, immerse yourself in coding every day. Engage actively by practicing coding, building small projects and getting your hands dirty with real code. This hands-on experience is the most effective way to learn and retain programming concepts. One of the best ways to implement active learning is to create utility software for yourself. This method not only helps you learn coding, but also allows you to build something practical that you can use in your daily life. Start with simple projects. For instance, you can create a highly customized expenditure tracker to manage your personal finances. Or a reminder application to keep yourself organized. By focusing on these small but meaningful projects, you will gain valuable experience in problem solving, debugging, and applying programming concepts in real world scenarios. Plus, the satisfaction of using a tool that you have built yourself will keep you motivated and engaged in your learning journey. Tip number three, embrace failure and learn from your mistakes. Every error or setback is a valuable learning opportunity. As a software developer, you will inevitably encounter bugs and issues that challenge your understanding and problem solving skills. Instead of getting frustrated, view these challenges as chances to improve. When you struggle with a bug for hours, Take the time to write a post-mortem on the experience. Document what went wrong, how you eventually fixed it, and what you learned from the process. This reflection helps solidify your understanding and prevents similar issues in the future. For example, if you encountered a tricky null pointer exception in Java, note down the steps that led to the bug, the debugging process that you followed, and the final solution. Identify patterns or common pitfalls that caused the error and outline preventive measures to avoid them in the future. This could include better input validation, improved error handling, or writing more comprehensive unit tests. By systematically analyzing and learning from your mistakes, you will build resilience and a deeper understanding of the intricacies of software development. This mindset will not only make you a better developer, but also help you tackle future challenges with confidence and efficiency. Next is writing clean code. Writing clean code is crucial for any programmer. Clean code is not just about making your code look good. It's about making your code more readable, maintainable and understandable, both for yourself and for others who might work on the same project in future. So tip number four is use meaningful names. Choose variable, function, and class names that clearly describe the purpose. Avoid using cryptic or abbreviated names that can confuse the readers. 
Tip number five is keep your functions small. Each function should perform a single task. If a function is getting too long or complex, break it down into smaller and more manageable functions. Tip number six is write comments sparingly. It means write less comments. While comments can be helpful, over commenting can clutter your code. Aim to write self-explanatory code that reduces the need for comments. Use comments to explain the why behind the complex logic, not what the part of code is doing. Tip number seven is use consistent formatting. Follow a consistent coding style and formatting throughout your code base. You can use indentation, spacing, and line breaks to enhance the readability. Code editors like VS Code also have extensions like Prettier that automatically format your code after you save it. Tip number eight is avoid code duplication. Reuse code wherever possible. If you find yourself copying and pasting code, consider creating a function that can be used by different parts of the code. Tip number nine is write test cases. Testing your code ensures it works as expected and helps you catch bugs early. Writing tests are a critical part of your application and run the tests regularly, especially run it before deployment every time. Tip number 10 is refactor your code regularly. Continuously improve your code by refactoring it. Refactoring includes restructuring existing code or remove the part of code that is no longer used and make it more efficient. By focusing on writing clean code, you will make your development process smoother, you will reduce the number of bugs you face, and you will create a code base that's easy to understand and maintain both for yourself and for others. Clean code is a hallmark of a skilled and professional developer. Problem solving is at the heart of programming. Tip number 11 is break down your problems into smaller and more manageable parts. Tackling a big problem all at once can be very hard. For example, if you are building a website, start with setting up the basic HTML structure before adding the CSS and JavaScript functionality. Tip number 12, use pseudocode to plan your approach. Writing out the logic in normal language helps you structure your code better. Tip number 13 is practice algorithm and data structure problems regularly. This sharpens your problem solving skills. For example, Use platforms like LeetCode or HackerRank to solve algorithm challenges. Tip number 14 is follow industry blogs and news. Stay informed about the latest developments. For example, you can subscribe to newsletters like JavaScript Weekly or Python Weekly to stay updated with what's new in the language. Tip number 15 is participate in coding communities and forums. Join the coding communities, engage with peers, they help you learn and grow. You can join communities like Stack Overflow, you can also go through Reddit threads or, or you can attend local meetups where you get to network with more like-minded people. Tip number 16 is related to networking. You should attend webinars, workshops and conferences. Networking and learning from experts is invaluable. The more you network, the more opportunities you have to get referrals in different companies. You can also participate in events like Google I.O. or local hackathons to sharpen your skills. Finally, let's talk about debugging techniques. Tip number 17 is use a systematic approach to identify bugs. Isolate and test each part of your code to pinpoint where the issue lies. This method helps you avoid wasting time on unnecessary parts of your code base. For example, Use a divide and conquer strategy to narrow down where your bug is occurring. If you have a large function or module, comment out sections of the code and test each section individually. This way you can quickly identify the problematic area and focus your debugging efforts there. Tip number 18 is learn to use debugging tools effectively. Tools like breakpoints, step through debugging and logging can save you hours of frustration and help you understand the flow of your program. For example, use your ID's debugging features to step through your code line by line and examine variables. Set breakpoints at critical points in your code to pause execution and inspect the state of your program. Additionally, use logging to record the flow of execution 
and the values of variables which can be invaluable when diagnosing issues. Last and final tip, tip number 19 is write unit tests to catch bugs early. Test driven development or TDD is a practice where you write tests for your functions before you even start coding them. This approach ensures that your code meets the expected behavior and prevents many issues from arising. Now this is optional but uh, you can try out once. For example, write tests for critical functions to ensure that they work as expected. Coming to the conclusion, let's quickly recap the key points. Focus on one concept at a time, write clean code, improve problem solving skills, stay updated with trends, and use effective debugging techniques. Mastering these tips will not only make you a better programmer, but also a more efficient one. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more coding secrets. What's the best programming tip you have ever received? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Till then, happy coding. Bye-bye.